So, um, just on the road to my buddy's house. Uh, he's got a driveway where we do a lot of work on the motorhome and my previous vehicles I've had before. He's got a, a workshop, he's got all the tools. Definitely one of those jack of all trades, really, really good handyman friend. Great guy. And uh, he's also got a long garden hose. Fill up my water. He's also got a washer and dryer. Do my laundry. And uh, before I had the solar panels, I would uh, also use his very long extension cord to plug in the motorhome and charge it up. So it's a beautiful sunny day again here on the west coast in Vancouver and uh, gonna take advantage of it and also wash the motorhome because it's getting pretty grimy outside. now uh, my buddy lives in uh, Port Coquitlam which is about once I get to the highway see Vancouver has no highways they purposely built the city so the highways go around the city so in order to get the free to the freeway you have to drive through the city and that usually takes twice as long as to where you're actually getting to once you get on the highway so it'll probably take me half an hour to get to the highway and then it'll only take me 15 maybe 20 minutes to get all the way out to Port Coquitlam <laughs> once I'm on the highway but we'll see how it goes all right. Okay, so I decided to take the uh, less direct route to Port Coquitlam by taking the low heat highway, which is kind of a stop and go highway. There's lights all along it. It's not the actual freeway, but uh, I forgot I need to dump my tanks today. So I'm going to um, a Husky station that has a $5 dump station. So I'm gonna go dump my tanks here in Burnaby before, uh, before I head on over to Port Coquitlam. Ah, it's a nice drive anyways, and traffic's not too bad right now, so. Okay guys, so the Sandy Dump is out of commission. Guy just came out and poured a bucket of hot water into it, and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, some douchebag, I'm hoping it's not a, a motorhome, an RVer, um, basically plugged it up, plugged up the sandy dump. So all of you in your RVs and camper vans, be respectful, use the toilet chemicals that you buy in the RV shops or the RV sections of Walmart. Use that shit, use at least half a bottle for each, each time you dump your tanks and refill your water and uh, pour that down your toilet because it breaks down all the waste. It keeps the smell down, you don't smell anything and it breaks down all the waste so you don't have any problems not only with your own plumbing but with sandy dumps because this is bullshit there's not very many of these husky stations left that have the sandy dumps and stuff like this you know isn't gonna make them wanna they don't wanna spend money trying to maintain them because somebody plugged it up with all their crap literally yo so use this shit be respectful alright oh well, look at that gas is only 127.9 actually pretty low these days. All nice and clean. I actually wash it more often in the winter than I do in the summer because it gets a lot dirtier with rain and whatnot. Another thing I use um, with my friend's house here is I use it as an address for pretty much everything, including all the crap I buy off eBay. And recently, the knobs, you know, the uh, climate control knobs on these Dodge vans and Jeep Wranglers and pickups and everything. They pretty much all use the exact same knobs. Well, they ended up 
breaking and apparently it's an extremely extremely common problem so common in fact I did a search on eBay for replacements and there were about oh six trillion places to order them from so I just went for the best deal and waited a couple weeks and here they are. I'll show you what happens here is the knob all right just twists the problem is around you see that metal that's the metal piece that actually fits onto the the actual metal knob that turns there on the dashboard it's surrounded by plastic and the plastic breaks if somebody turns one just a little bit too hard they snap and then guess what I can't adjust my heater I can't turn on and off my fan or my air conditioning I actually had to take the knob off and use a pair of pliers to turn on my window defrost or switch it to heat and it was gonna be a real pain in the ass so it was about ten or eleven dollars for three replacements of these things thank you eBay and Simple as that. They literally, now they work all perfectly. They literally just, just pop on. I didn't have to take anything apart or anything. So that should probably last another 10 or 15 years because that seems to be about the lifespan of these things and they end up breaking. So little tip for any of you out there with, with uh, Ram vans or similar products. You, you can get replacements on eBay. Don't go to the Dodge dealer because they probably would have charged me a hundred bucks for those things. Thanks for watching everyone and don't forget you can check out my previous videos by going to my channel. It's easy to get to, justincredible.tv and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Alright, keep on rocking in the free world everyone!